Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with all of the fragrances that I wore last week. So, I do have quite a few here. I got a little crazy with perfume last week, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. The first perfume that I wore last week is one that is brand new to my collection. I just got this one in. Uh, I left it in its box because that's usually a sign that it didn't work out for me, but this is Davidoff Cool Water. Uh, sea Rose Caribbean Summer Edition. So this is a gorgeous fragrance. Do not get me wrong. It is really, really beautiful. Comes in this really beautiful bottle. And this is a big bottle. This is a 3.4 ounce bottle. I think I'm anosmic to this. Um, unfortunately, I can't smell anything. I can, I'm getting maybe just a hint of the pear in this, but other than that, I literally cannot smell anything, and when I sprayed it on myself, I could not smell anything, so I'm really sad about that. Like, I can't even tell you if it's good or not, because I literally can smell like one note, and that's it. Um, I wish I could tell you more, but I just can't smell it. So, Sea Rose is Mandarin, Nashi Pear, Rose, and Cashmere in. I can't smell anything. So, anyways, that will be going up on my Mercari page. Uh, that is the first one that I tried to wear this week, and unfortunately, I couldn't smell it. The second one I wore this week, this one I wore to bed because it's still a little hot out for this one, but another new one to my collection is Jean-Paul Gaultier Cabaret. This is so beautiful. Oh, gosh. Now, I will tell you, this one is maybe a little bit mature smelling. It's not, um, it's definitely not like old fashioned mature smelling, but it's a little bit mature. Oh gosh, but this has a really beautiful, very strong ginger note in it that really sticks around for the whole wear time. This thing lasts forever. This is one of those fragrances that I feel like you would probably smell on clothing months later. It lasts forever on the skin. This was one I sprayed on before I went to bed and I could smell it until I took a shower the next day. So this is Ginger Orange Blossom, Ambergris, and Vanilla. So it's very uh, close to the original Classique, but this one has the Ambergris in it that gives it just a little bit of a salty vibe. Oh, gosh, it's sweet. It's yummy. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So yeah, I love this one. Performance is excellent on it, and I'm super excited for cooler weather so I can really start wearing this one properly. So that is Jean-Paul Gaultier uh, Classique Cabaret. The next one that I wore is another... I wore all of my new fragrances I pulled out and wore, so this is another new one to my collection. This is by uh, Jean Arth... Yeah, Jean Arthes... Arthas, I think I always wonder if I'm saying that correctly or not, but this is called Love Generation Arts, and there's like a whole line of these. Um, somebody commented on, I think when I hauled this, and said that this house is kind of like a dupe house. They make tons of like dupes, which I had no idea, so I went back and looked this up, and this is apparently a dupe of Paco Rabanne Lady Million. So, um, yeah, I have... I think I have a mini of Lady Million or like a decant of it or a sample or something. Um, but yeah, I knew this smelled familiar. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, it smells so, so good. So this is uh, Raspberry, Mandarin, Orange, Jasmine, Orange Blossom, Honey, and Patchouli. It's so, so pretty. It's just, it's kind of generic smelling, but... It's just nice, but this thing does not last any time at all. Like you'll get two to three hours out of this maybe, and then you'll have to reapply it. So uh, I don't mind fragrances like that if I'm just hanging around home. Um, definitely, I definitely don't mind it if I'm just hanging around home because then I can wear like three perfumes that day if I spray on something like this. Uh, but this just smells so, so nice. So yeah, I really like this one. The performance on this guy is not great though. So anyways, that is Jean Arthas Love Generation Arts. 
Next one I wore is an oldie but a goodie and I layered this with some lotion and the day I wore this I was told I smelled like candy. So uh, this is Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy. This is such a beautiful, just fruity, yummy, fun fragrance. Uh, I get comments a lot that this reminds people of the old like Salon Selective shampoo from the 90s, which, yeah, I totally get. It really does. Uh, this is so good, though. And I layered this with my Blackberry and Basil lotion from Bath & Body Works. And like I say, this combination uh, got me the compliment of smelling like candy. <laughs> so who doesn't want to smell like candy? Um, it's just, it's such a fun fragrance. And this combination also lasted all day long. Um, the perfume on its own is not terrible. Like you'll get a good four hours out of this or so, but I think unless you layer, layer it over some lotion, like four hours is about what you're gonna get out of it, but I just love it. I think it's so such a fun fragrance. So anyways, that is Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy. The next one I pulled out is another Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is Jean-Paul Gaultier Classic Essence and um, I've just been on a Jean-Paul Gaultier kick lately. I have been craving these perfumes. They're just so comforting and beautiful and this one is no exception. Uh, I've gotten a lot of suggestions to pick up the Intense version and so I'm going to very soon pick up the Intense version and the Pinup version. Uh, but I love Essence. This one is Ginger, uh, Sambac Jasmine, Orange Blossom Woods, Vanilla, and Chantilly Cream. It's just beautiful. So this is a lot like... Mm. This is like Classique, but this one is a little bit sweeter, and it's got a very, like, mellow quality to it because of that Chantilly Cream. It really kind of softens the edges of the ginger and the orange blossom. It's just gorgeous. I adore this. Ugh, I can't wait till cooler weather so I can really start busting this out and wearing it a ton. But that is Jean-Paul Gaultier at Classique Essence. The next one I wore is one that I have been so in love with and so excited about. This is uh, Gianfranco Fairy Rose. And uh, thank you to whoever told me that the E is pronounced like fair E, um, which makes sense because it's like Salvatore Ferragamo. Um, so actually it might be fair A, uh, but yeah, fair A Rose. And this is a gorgeous, light, slightly fruity, bright, watery, rose fragrance. Oh, I love this. I love this so much. I've been wearing the heck out of it. You wouldn't know because it's such a huge bottle, but I am, I am adoring this right now. So this is peach, mandarin, pomegranate, watermelon, rose, freesia, gardenia, orange blossom, hyacinth, cedarwood, amber, vanilla, and sandalwood. It's just gorgeous. If you are looking for just a beautiful, light, fruity, easy breezy rose fragrance, this is definitely for you. Uh, the performance on this guy is not fantastic. You'll get about four or so hours out of it before you would need to reapply, but it's so inexpensive and this is such a huge bottle that, um, you know, it's you could definitely keep reapplying it as much as you needed to. So. Yeah, this is a beauty. Um, I definitely recommend this one. So that is Ferre Rose. The next one is a collection favorite. I adore this fragrance. Um, there are a ton of people that do not like this fragrance though and I don't know why. But this is a Sarah Jessica Parker NYC and I adore this. This is a gorgeous strawberry fragrance. People say that it smells really generic, it smells cheap. I could not disagree more. I do not think this smells cheap at all. This is just a gorgeous, fruity, light, sweet 
strawberry fragrance and it really really smells like strawberries oh my gosh I love it so much and this lasts forever this is a fragrance this is like a beautiful fruity fragrance that I can spray on in the morning and this will get me through my entire 10 hour work day um, definitely by about hour six or seven it will start wearing closer to the skin and it will kind of turn into a skin scent but I can smell it literally all day it lasts a really long time on clothing uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful, affordable, fruity fragrance, so I adore this. Um, if you guys are looking for a strawberry fragrance, look no further. This is such a good one. So anyways, that is Sarah Jessica Parker, NYC. The next one is another uh, Gianfranco Ferre fragrance, and this is Blooming Rose. So this one I'm not loving as much as just the regular rose oh but it's still gorgeous this one has a little bit more of a woody quality to it and that woody quality really really comes out on my skin and it almost drowns out the rose which is why I'm not loving this one as much as the other but this is still a super beautiful fun fragrance so Blooming Rose is Pomelo, Blackcurrant, Rasmer Rasmary, Raspberry, Jasmine, Freesia, Rose Oil, White Wood, Cedar, and Sandalwood. So you can see it's got quite a, uh, quite a few woody notes in the base. And my skin really, really amplifies those woody notes, which I don't mind at all. They're beautiful, and it's a gorgeous fragrance. And it lasts really, really well, too. This one got me through an entire work day. Um, after about five or so hours, though, it really became a skin scent and only I could smell it. I don't know if other people could smell it or not, but yeah, it definitely um, wasn't projecting it all after that, but I don't mind. As long as I can smell it all day, I'm perfectly happy. So yeah, uh, not a love as much as the original rose is but still really beautiful nonetheless still very very affordable and it's a huge bottle so anyways that is Gianfranco Ferre Blooming Rose the next fragrance I wore this is a bedtime fragrance uh, it's a discontinued Stella McCartney fragrance and this is Stella Nude uh, I love <laughs> this fragrance this is like Stella, but, oh my gosh, and this is like the, I think this is the original formulation of Stella. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So, Stella Nude is Moroccan Rose, Grapefruit, Peony, Pink Pepper, Ugandan Vanilla, and Grey Amber. It's just gorgeous. It's like the original formulation of Stella, and then if you added Vanilla... And then that gray amber note, it's just beautiful. I love it. It's cozy smelling. It's clean smelling. It's just beautiful. If you loved the original original Stella, I think you would really like this. But yeah, unfortunately, it has been discontinued and it is hard to come across. I had to get mine on um, Mercari. This one will last a good long while too. You'll definitely get a good eight or so hours out of this, and yeah, it's just gorgeous. So anyways, that is Stella Nude. The next one is a, one that is also newer to my collection. This is another Jean Arthas, and this is called uh, Baum K. Calor. This is supposed to be like a dupe of a an Escada fragrance, like one of those, I think maybe like Sexy Graffiti or something like that. I'll tell you, uh, my daughter started school and she's doing school remotely this year. And I did get her her own little Chromebook, but before her Chromebook came, she was having to do her like uh, Zoom calls and her work on my computer here. And this has been sitting on my desk and every time she sits down in this chair she picks up this bottle and just wants to play with it because she loves the little like grenade shape of the bottle she loves this little um you know stopper and it's just it's such a fun little bottle but yeah um this is 
it smells like one of those Escada perfumes, super fruity, super sweet. Um, this has, <sighs> yeah, it's just that really, it smells like a super fruity, sweet, like mixed drink or something. It's juicy and yummy. Uh, this lasts no time on the skin at all though. I mean, I get maybe an hour maybe two if I'm lucky out of this. So yeah, I'll end up blowing through this little bottle and then, um, yeah, I don't know that I would repurchase it just because, you know, there's nothing really special about it, but I'm enjoying it now and Charlotte's enjoying it now. So anyways, that is Jean Arthas Baume K Calore. The next one I wore, and this one surprised me. This is by a house called, I don't even know. This is such a weird fragrance. <laughs> this is called Fun Water, and I got this for so, so cheap on Fragrance X. And this smells to me exactly like CK1 like exactly like CK1. And this was one that I put it on one day and I like, I doused myself in it. And this is weird too, because I think you can get a spray version of this, but I accidentally bought like a, um, it's like a dabber. So I'm probably gonna, and so I don't have to get it on my skin and get my fragrance all cloudy and weird. I'm probably just going to hold it over and just like drop it on myself and then do it that way. But I'll tell you the day that I wore this, I was thinking, Oh, I'll just put this on, throw it on in the morning, you know, like as an after shower fragrance, it'll hang around about an hour like CK one does, and then it'll be gone. And then I'll put on another perfume. So like hours and hours and hours went by and this was not wearing off. <laughs> So I was like, well, dang, I can't put on another fragrance. After about eight hours, this finally wore away. And it was definitely a skin scent by that time. But every time I, you know, went to smell my arm, all I smelled was this. And so, like I say, after about eight hours, it finally wore away and I did put on another fragrance. But yeah, it's this little guy will surprise you. Um, so fun water lasts pretty darn good and if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to CK1 that performs better, this is a good choice. So anyways, that is Fun Water. Okay, and last but not least, oh, this was one of my favorites that I wore last week. This is Hermes Un Jardin Sur La Toit. Oh, you guys. This is a gorgeous, green, watery, fresh rose fragrance. It's a little bit sweet. It's got a green grass and a basil note in it that really give it an edge. It, it's super, super unique smelling. Ah, uh, gosh, I love this. I would not say that this is probably a safe blind buy. Um, this, I typically don't love green fragrances, but this is such a beautiful, unique green fragrance and the rose in it is so beautiful and watery and prominent. Oh, I just adore this. I am like obsessed with this. This is one of my favorites that I bought all year probably. So Sir Latois, apple, pear, rose, green grass, basil, magnolia, and compost notes. Oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. So I wore this to work. It got me through my whole day, but probably at around the eight hour mark or so, it really, really turned into a skin scent to where, uh, probably not even a skin scent. I think at that point I was really just smelling it on my clothing, but I could still smell it. Ugh, I love it. Yeah. Like I say, definitely not a safe blind buy because you really do get that green grass and basil in it. I love it. So anyways, that is Une Jardine Sur La Toit from Hermes. And that is it guys. Those are all of the fragrances that I wore last week. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.